Hey everybody, um, back with the uh, Dumas, Dumas Coast Guard utility boat, and um, well, this is its, the current uh, state of this build. You see, I've been doing quite a bit of work. Some of it not on camera, and uh, well, some of it was on camera, and then something happened to that video. So this is where we, uh, this is where we are right now. <clears throat> Um, I've begun to bend the railings and uh, put them together. Now, the soldering uh, is used to assemble uh, the handrails. And I'm not real big on, this is like the first soldering effort I've done. <laughs> so it's not going to be beautiful. Um, <clears throat> I'm hoping I can take a file to this or sand it and get some of this off and smooth uh, before I paint these silver um, and, uh, but they will be uh, inserted into the deck uh, let's see roughly here on either side so that's the stern uh, port and starboard stern rail and then there's the forward rail not this uh, that looks something like this See, that's the one for the other side. This is the one for this side of the boat. And the railing goes uh, something like this. See, so it attaches here to the side wall. I need to put more of a bend in this one to get it around for part of the upper cabin. It goes something like that. <clears throat> and then there'll be vertical uh, pins. Uh, Parts of the railing, vertical railing, it goes into the uh, into this uh, lower deck or upper uh, upper lower deck, <laughs> mid mid deck, whatever. Uh, so there's that, and that's I've started work on the uh, on the railings. Uh, most of the masts are done. Uh, I have to assemble uh, the radar unit and a few other little pieces and parts for the top. We'll be putting windows on it and all that stuff a door will be hung on the back and then there's just a ton of uh, furniture uh, material that goes onto the deck itself and the back uh, area rear area of the cabin so anyway um, you see I, I did build up the interior just a little uh, I'm not sure what the camera can see here in this light um, but I've got a uh, a short console for the wheel you can't have a wheelhouse without a wheel so there's that, and there's a th throttle lever and controls there on the uh, to the left of the wheel, and, and in our seat there's one seat and a small hatch to go uh, from this <coughs> main cabin into the fore, uh, the lower forward cabin there, probably where some sleeping arrangement or stowage would be. Right, and so uh, you know, here's our rear hatch. Uh, I made it a pretty tight fit, uh, maybe a little too tight, apparently. Hold on. Well, yesterday it was coming right out of there. Hold on. I didn't want it, I wanted it to be secure enough that it didn't fall out when you turn the boat upside down. So much for that. So, anyway, here's the rear hatch, uh, and then the, uh, ser the servo arm for the rudder, rudder control arm, I guess you'd call it. That's also a soldering job of mine. Beautiful, yes, no, not really. Okay, so that's uh, the rear cabin. I'll pull the front. Let's get this in here. Let's see, we go stern first. And, um, what is the deal? There we go. So that's in there. And then the cabin and mid deck come off here. Ah, there we go, nice and tight. So there's the prop shaft. And you can see this is the uh, piece of um, tubing that attaches to the motor shaft that gives uh, it gives our boat forward propulsion. So what you do is uh, it's a smallish motor, um, not the typical uh, 540 type can motor, but a smaller can, about half that size, runs off of I think uh, four or six uh, AA size LiPo batteries, probably the uh, power supply for it, and then so you'd probably lay, arrange the batteries three on each side and then the motor in the center for ballast and 
and then your receiver and uh, speed control unit probably back here on the other side makes sense to me and um, possibly a lighting uh, arrangement something with the uh, port and starboard lighting a mass light uh, maybe a search light a cabin light and a stern light maybe a bow light and uh, away you go so uh, you can see the construction of it there they there are the bulkheads um, you have the lower planking and upper planking here you can see that a little better lower and upper planking quite a bit of cutting and sanding it needs to be done to get that to fit that's uh, part of the boat building excitement and fun getting everything to come together at, at the bow evenly and squarely I don't again know how much light there is in here I came up a little short as you can see on the um, starboard side there uh, so we've used some filler and again this boat is probably not going to be um, used in the water I'm probably never going to get around to uh, putting a motor in there it's, this is a display piece it was intended that way. Um, if it, if I ever do decide to uh, float it, I'd paint the entire hole with, uh, you know, an epoxy resin or fiberglass, <clears throat> just glass it and repaint it on the hole, um, which is doable. You just pop this out and, you know, the way you go. Um, so there's, it's a possibility, but I, I'm not, I'm not leaning that way. Let's put it that way. Uh, it comes with some clear plastic for the windows, um, and as I think I mentioned in an earlier, uh, earlier video, uh, there's some O2O sheet styrene here for use on various parts and pieces, and one of the things it describes in the instruction sheet is to use this as a window surrounds. I might do that. I might use something heavier than this for my windows and just make them slightly oversized and then mask them and paint frames onto them similar to the way you do a, uh, an airplane uh, canopy. So, you know, stay tuned for that. I pro I, I'm leaning more towards just getting my own plastic and a little bit thicker stock and doing it, doing it that way, doing the canopy way. All right, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I might use the kit supplied material. I like to do that. Prefer to use the kit supplied material. A little bit of window screen, uh, window screen material. That's for the uh, exhaust stacks that go back uh, mid deck. Um, there will be a winch, uh, a towing winch uh, installed back here with uh, some sort of motor. I've got a few plastic parts I might be able to uh, cobble together something that looks like a, a winch motor. So, you know, it's, it's in the process and uh, I've got a few coats of uh, sealer on the boat now and I've uh, finished sanded uh, the entire cabin uh, centerpiece here, the center section. So the next step here will be to mask the windows uh, off, um, give it a primer coat of white overall, um, primer coat the entire hull, paint the hull, and then and then paint the uh, the midsection here, this cabin cabin and rear deck section, uh, get that painted up. So the um, the way this goes, I think, is it's um, uh, antioxide red on the lower hull. Uh, there's a about a quarter inch wide black waterline stripe. The upper hull is white. The decks are gray. Here and here will be gray. Um, and then the, the roof is gray. The uh, upper fore deck is gray. Everything else is white. And then there's non skid applied overall. Uh, this decking is gray with a non skid um, pattern to it, uh, and so on. So that's <clears throat> pretty basic, uh, not too much color on this, um, aside from the lower hull. Pretty much black and white with a red hull. And uh, we'll be getting to that pretty soon, I think. It's, it's, all, it, it's pretty much time for that. So we'll get all the primer on. I'll drill out all the holes for the, for the railings. And then we'll put the finished coats on, and then I'll spray paint all the railings and the masts. We'll install those parts. And then we'll go back and start building all the, uh, you know, the radar components and the winch components and all the other furniture, right? So that's the boat. That's where it stands. And we'll be getting back to it soon. Thanks for watching.